So, we're actually going to do a workshop Wednesday. This one, uh, we've got a few new tools and bits and pieces I want to go through and just show you and have a look at and why I bought them. The other thing is, it's been nearly 12 months in the making, but we finally, hopefully, got some new springs for the back of my van. Because, well, I mean, it doesn't sit good. Really should just get myself a camera. It saves so much of people phoning me while I'm trying to record things. So, um, if we hang on. We can see just exactly how bad these springs are. <coughs> I'll go to the other side where I haven't got the exhaust in the way. So, if you look up there, they are pretty well completely uh, compacted so hopefully these new ones will bring me back up so we will just have a measure so you can see assuming these springs fit exactly how much I raised me van by so as it sits now, we are 70 centimetres. So get this jacked up, get it all safe, and then we'll take the wheels off and we'll pick this back up when you can see what, uh, what I've got to contend with. I hope this goes well. So we've got it jacked up. I've got it safer than it initially looks. I've got a big jack there under the rear cross member, and then I've got a trolley jack on this side and another jack there on the other side. So it's three point in contact. So theoretically, it should be pretty safe and secure. That's pretty solid. Um, but, well, things have escalated. <laughs> Basically, the uh, top shot mounts that I need to take off to get the springs off are behind here. But that was covered with the board over the top and all the drawers. So it's all ended up coming out. Um, but it does give me a good opportunity to give the back of the van a good proper clean out. It's quite amazing to think all that lot fits in the back of that little van. So, yes, let's get it all uh, cleaned while we've got the opportunity. Down the fact that I've had to drill rivets out and there's, there's now all. There's just crap everywhere. So, the van is now a little bit cleaner. Got my ratchet spanners. Span it? Ratchet spanners. Every size, bar the size we want. So it's going to have to be... You might get on it with a socket. Deep socket, maybe. Because they're down. In there. Just a handy place. So hopefully I've got a 16 mil socket and we can get it out that way. Oh, it's just going from bad to worse. Right, so I've not videoed any of this because it, it, it's kind of turned into a bit of a big job. Um, that side isn't so bad because they brought that out. So there's a bit of room in there and in the top. That side, for some reason, they've got it right tight too, and somebody had already been bugging around and putting different nuts in there and doing weird things. And, uh, well, that's not me. That's not me. Um, that bit was me. <sighs> but we're, we're getting there. They're both off. Uh, this one's stripped down. I'll show you how to do that one in a minute because there's a right way and a wrong way to do this um, and if you're doing the wrong way you can actually <laughs> hurt yourself so just sort of show you new spring against old spring um slightly bit longer not that it makes much difference um but it's not in the length it's in the coils per inch this having less sounds weird but this theoretically having less coils per inch 
should be a stronger spring. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. So, right, I'm going to build this one on back up and get that back on the car. And then I'll show you building that one back up and putting it back on the car. And uh, yeah. Right, so we are we are one side down. It's all in, installed. Just need to drop it back on the floor and check those wheel nuts. So, <clears throat> I was gonna show you the right way to remove one of these. So, I... <sighs> right size so socket, team mill. Get your big gun. Get it all set up like that. Now, personally, I would say at this point, you want to phone for the ambulance before you go any further. That way, they're en route, ready to pick your face back up and put it back together. <coughs> right, we'll show you the right way. I'll go get it tripod for this I think oh no we've got get, eh, what's the mount right the correct way so you don't end up and I do genuinely mean this people have actually seriously hurt themselves doing this the wrong way so uh, probably should do it by hand but this is quicker and easier. There are, you can do it easily and not get them in the right place. One on the other side. So you'll be able to pick these up off Amazon, eBay. Locomotive factors, the orange plate, we all know what I mean. Right, so don't just wang one up and the other, wang them both up, put it aside. So that's taking the pressure off the spring now. So when we take that nut off, the whole lot doesn't fly off and hurt people. Right. You can see there is a decent amount of pressure on there. I'm just going to slacken them back a bit, just to put a bit of pressure back on the the rod so it keeps coming off oh you awkward you awkward swine this is the problem right Slacking it off a bit more. So we still want to keep hold of the spring, but just try and put a bit of pressure on there. Oh. Right, it's going to be an awkward pain in the butt type of thing. I'm going to have to do it another way. I'm just going to off camera this a bit because it's just going to take a bit of time. Basically, I need to try and clamp that so I can turn the nut. See, come on, we will video it. Just like that. Oh, well, the gun's not removing this. So we have taken the pressure back off it again. See if they're going to remove it the last little bit. No. Just wants to be a awkward um, 
swine. Obviously you don't want to touch, start trying to clamp on there because you'll damage the, uh, damage the rod. And then your shock resorber will leak and then you'll have to take it all apart again, put a new shock resorber on it. Which I think if this van wants shock absorbers, I'll stick it in the garage. Let them have the fun and games of it. Nearly there. Nearly there. Will it come off the last little bit? There we go. Right, make sure we know how it all's supposed to come apart. Now we can let these go because there's nothing holding the top of together. <laughs> oh, you awkward pig of a thing. Move so I can't get there. Get the socket on it. I'll get a normal one on it, but... <sighs> right, hang on. Well, I suppose you do want to see this come apart, don't you? Go back on. There, you awkward thing. Yep. There's one off. Oh, you pig of a thing. Right. So now we just need to put it on the new spring. Range coming again. So they line up nicely. You swine, you absolute swine. Just the other side went so smoothly, this one's just uh, putting up a little bit of a fight. So, nope, still putting up a fight. Why are you doing 
screen this. Mm. See, because it's uh, we've only got the one on it's bowing around now, which means it's struggling to get this back on. It's been a battle, but we're getting there. Yeah, like that. Oh, hang on. This is putting half the stuff on there. That on there, 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 You know what, you're just going to have to trust me that I've put it all back together right because this is just becoming a monumental pain. I've got myself in a bit of a predicament here as well now. Right, I'm just going to have to concentrate on this because it's starting to do me head in a bit. So, it's quite a bit later. Um, that has been an absolute wine to get on basically every time I tried to compress the springs with the spring compressors the spring compressors twist and pinged off um, twice it actually did it properly I've got got it nearly down to where it needs to be and both of them let go and well it's what we were going on about it, it, you can actually get yourself hurt and it is it's not a very pleasant experience because you're really close to it when it does it Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've shedded a bit of blood. That was trying to get the uh, bottom bolt on, on the damper. Um, yeah, even even that fought me to the last, uh, the last waves. We had jack underneath it and bars in the side of it. And yeah, wow. But it's on. Now we can just cover it up with the wheel. Right. I've, I've lost all enthusiasm for this, if I'm honest. Oh, we still got quite a bit of work because we've still got to put all uh, that lot back in it yet. So, right, I'll get the wheel on, get the jacks out from underneath it, and then we'll have a preliminary, preliminary look how it sits before we put all the junk back in. Right, so that is our finished. I know I did say we were gonna have a look at some new tools that I'd invested in, but um, I'll be quite honest, this side has just battled the living hell out of me. <sighs> to the point that I'd, I'd lost all sort of enthusiasm for actually getting the van the stuff back in the back of the van it's all done it's all back in there it's all back in there tidily but i've just i've had enough for one day um but we did just want to see all the gear back in so we started off 70 centimeters uh we are now uh 74 and a half in 74 and a half centimeters so we've gained four and a half centimeters uh inch and a half doesn't sound a lot but it kind of is it, it it sits she sits right now she sits sort of pretty level pretty happy now whereas before she yeah you just 
just to tell something wasn't right. So yes, that is it. We have <laughs> we have succeeded. Twelve months to find the parts and an absolute nightmare to get them to fit. Uh. And I really, really wasn't expecting having to take all that lot out just to get at them. <sighs> Gotta love how these jobs escalate. But it's done. So if you enjoy this bit of a workshop Wednesday, which was actually a Tuesday, don't forget to give it a, well, we'll say bloody thumb up today. Um, don't forget to go have a look at the shop. I'll put the link down in the description if you haven't already haven't subscribed yet hit the bell as well don't forget then you get notifications of when i put videos up try for a workshop wednesday and a weekend video but yeah doesn't always work that way uh yeah if you want to say hello down the comment section down below um that's it we are done i am actually done so don't forget to uh, give it a grubby thumbs up. Don't forget to look after yourselves and don't forget to look after each other as well. And hopefully we'll see you on the weekend. Got some interesting videos to do. Oh yeah, <laughs> bad day up here yesterday and uh, yeah, missed it. I didn't even know he cut it to be honest. <laughs> right, we're out of here. We are going home. See you at the weekend.